So I, I added an init parameter with the param name as password and the param value as fast2. Okay. So how do I use this uh, value of initializing parameter password in my application? So as you can see that this is a servlet init parameter and this can only be accessed from the servlet validate serve. So I'll go to my validate serve and instead of validating this with pass1 what I'll do is I'll say password is equal to I'll comment out this um, this should be there right? so I'll say password config right is equal to how do I get the value of the initialization parameter not request that is a servlet in parameter right so I'll say get servlet config dot get init parameter right and the parameter name is password so this is going to give me the value of the initialization parameter for password I'll simply print that out And here, instead of uh, validating this with a uh, static text, I'll validate this with the value in the init parameter. So let's see what happens now. Right? So this is how you actually get the value from your uh, configuration file, right? the in initialization uh, parameters so you say get servlet config dot get in parameter similarly if you want to use any servlet context parameter files you say get con servlet context dot get in it parameter and you specify that parameter value in the outside any servlet tags so I'm going to run this server so finish restart yes <coughs> Here I say user one and pass one. So my initial first param uh, password was pass one, right? Which I was uh, testing manually uh, static parameter which I used for password. Click on login. It's giving me a error page, right? Because when I go to my console, I see that the username pass was user one and the password pass was pass one. But the password in my configuration file is passed to, right? And it did not match that password. So it has given me a failure screen. Again, try to give pass two now. It takes me to the success page. Okay. And if you see here, the username was pass user one, password was pass two, and the password in the configuration file is also pass two. So it has it's able to validate my username and password and it's taken me to the success screen okay uh, let me close these pages okay, okay. so uh, one last thing I wanted to show was uh, keys so we've seen that uh, in order to maintain a session between client and server uh, the server basically sends a cookie to the client and uh, whenever the request comes back uh, then it, the client and server communicates uh, via the cookie right and if cookies are disabled then the server will go ahead with URL rewriting right so let's see that example so how, how do you test that out um, so what I'll do is uh, you basically uh, need to just write this line of code to create your session okay so you say uh, request dot get session this will return you a HTTP session object okay. and import this statement import HTTP session class right It's, an, it's been imported now 
So once you put this line of code in your servlet, what it does, uh, the web container is going to check if there is any valid session associated with this uh, user. And if there is a session, it's going to use that session. If not, it's going to create a new session for the user. Right. So I'll just put this in. Now in uh, validate serve, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the uh, value of the cookie. Okay, so how do you do that? Okay, let's uh, do this in the success screen basically. Yeah, I'll uh, give it as outdoor pretend statement here. And I'll say cookie is I get the value using request dot get uh, header, right? And the header name should be cookie. So this is going to give me the value of the cookie I have. Okay. I'll say clear. I'll restart. I'll stop my server. And server is stopped. So I run this login servlet again. So I printed that statement in the success servlet, right? So I'll give a valid username and password that is user1 and pass2. I log in. This says cookie is JS session ID, whatever. So this is the value of my session ID, right? So that means uh, there is a valid cookie present, right? And this is the JS session ID for that cookie. Now let's see what happens if I disable the cookies. So here in my uh, Firefox, what I've done is uh, I said accept cookies from a site, but ask me every time. Okay. Go to login serve, right? Yeah, and I'll say deny cookie. I don't want cookies. Okay, user one and pass two. I say deny cookies. So you see here, cookie is null. So that means if I deny, when I denied my cookies, the value of cookie is null. So there is no cookie. So that means. It, uh, it has used URL rewriting to communicate between the client and server. Now, I'll try to give another request here. And I'll say, and this time I'll say allow cookies. Okay. And let's see what the output is. Password is pass to. I log in. See, when I said allow cookies, it has given me a value of cookie and that is the J session ID for me, which it, which it has created, right? So this is how if cookies are disabled, uh, it use URL rewriting to communicate back and forth. And if cookies are enabled, you get this cookie value in here, right? So I hope this um, concept of cookies are uh, clear to you, is clear to you, right? So I hope this pretty much covers uh, what all topics we have discussed uh, on the sessions earlier, right? Okay, uh, thank you then.